How are you going? Pretty good. <laughs> Whoa, what have you invented there? A rainbow periscope. Rainbow periscope. That's right. Hello, the internet, and welcome to another CNRL Library Innovation Studio Home Workshop. Today, we're going to be making rainbow periscopes. Now, instead of mirrors, I've got old CDs. Make sure these are CDs that no one else needs. If you do happen to have plastic mirrors, this will work just as well. You just won't have the rainbow. You'll have excellent clarity of vision. So, two CDs, plus you're going to need a tube. This could be a kitchen roll tube, or I've got some rehydrated mashed potato chip tube, or whatever you'd like to call that. You'll need a sheet of paper, because we're going to make a very simple tractor out of the paper. Plus, you're going to need some tape to put all this together. So, let's get started. Now, one of our first cuts requires a 45 degree angle. If you've got a protractor, that's going to be real easy. If you don't, that's actually real easy too. I've got a piece of paper here with a 90 degree angle, because it's got a nice, good square corner. And making a 45 degree angle is really, really easy. First of all, just need to cut a bit of the paper out, so don't want this whole sheet. Yeah, but nothing too neat. Along the 90 degree square angle, we fold it to the point very carefully. And that is the 45 degree angle. Draw a 45 degree angle using your homemade protractor on one side, and then do it again on the other side as well. We want to have a nice cut where the CD is going to slot in like that. And then you might need an adult to help you with this. We're going to get a pair of scissors and we're going to cut. See if this fits. Pretty good. Yep, I'm happy with that. Should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. I've actually got my CD in upside down. <laughs> and now we have to cut a viewing hole so that we can peer through. There, look at that. Nice. Now we don't want too much light coming in where the CD is, so we just need to sort of tape up this gap. The CD is going to stay here permanently. So I'm going to get my dark tape. You could put some paper there and tape it up, but I've got some tape you can't see through, which is handy. And seal up those gaps. If you took this eye out of now, you'd be looking straight up at the sky. Probably not exactly what we want. So we need to put another CD in, this time that way around. 45 degrees again. So what's going to happen is we're going to look through the viewer. The reflection is going to send light from up here. Because this CD will be in the way, it'll now bounce off that way. We'll be able to look up higher and be able to peek over things. And because we're using CDs, there's going to be a bit of a rainbow action to it. So let's get cutting again. Just need our 45 degree angle. Here we go. Need to cut a viewing platform here. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Might want to test it out to make sure you can see properly. You might need to make your opening's a bit bigger. This one's a bit ripped because I'm having to shove my camera here at some point. But there's one thing that's missing. This worked pretty good, except too much light is coming in from the top, especially when you're outside. You just seal that off. If you're using a kitchen roll, you can just put a bit of paper in there or scrub something up and shove it in. I've still got the lid and the cover to this, so it's really easy for me. I can just click it on. But if you don't, paper, sellotape is going to work fine. And now we can take this out and give it a go. There you go, there you go. What do you think this is? Hmm, what's this? Now the reason mine's going to be a rainbow periscope is I'm using CDs, and the way CDs are made, they refract light in interesting ways that make rainbows, which is also going to make the image that we see through our periscope pretty fascinating. See you later, fella. You good boy, Oscar. And there you go. It looks a bit better in real life than it did through the camera, because that's cameras for you. We hoped you enjoyed this workshop. Please like, share and subscribe so you and others can join us on the next CNRL Library Innovation Studio online workshop. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or the usual places at Innovation Stew or hashtag Innovation Stew. And check the home workshops page on innovationstew.com.au for extra resources. See you next time.